Good morning, world traders. It's Newsday, Wednesday, October 18th at 8.58 a.m. here on the East Coast. And we're just over half an hour away from market open. And it, like I said, it is Newsday. We had API news yesterday and EIA news today at 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. API reported an anticipated 7 billion barrel draw. Um, which is larger, a larger draw than EIA is expected to report this morning. Um, uh, API has had a mixed record. <clears throat> it went uh, two weeks of getting it right, and then it got it very wrong. So it's anyone's guess as to what EIA actually comes out with. Um, and it's anyone's guess as to what actually happens as a result of that news. Uh, the news itself is bullish, of course, um, with a draw in inventories, but does that mean that the price of crude will go f up further? Um, I've seen the very opposite happen before, so I, I don't know, trade scared, um, as I would, as I plan to do. Um, of course, I wish I was in at least some longs uh, as a hedging to my very, very bearish portfolio at this moment. Um, I do sort of regret not getting in on uh, a long position at yesterday's lows, but you know, so be it. Um, where we are right now, as of just a few minutes ago, we jumped up to a high of 52.30 from where we've been holding all along um, within a few cents of 52. Um, right now at 52.23 at this very moment, it's well into my target that I had planned on buying yesterday. So if we open here or anywhere basically above 52.20, I'll be buying more shorts. Um, if we manage to go even higher, then I might buy even a larger position than I had planned to do originally. Um, as you guys know, I bought yesterday, but I bought a relatively small position. Um, as you can see here, it's just a 10% weighting, uh, probably the smallest position I've bought in a long, long time. And that was because of the kind of worry that we might actually go up further and that apparently is exactly what's happening so uh yeah uh, at least it gives me the option the opportunity to add um, relatively confidently and aggressively this morning um, if we go up after that following the news well i guess i'll just have to wait and see what happens um, but hopefully we go down and if we do go down, I'm looking at buying long starting at about 51, but I'll be trying to be patient and waiting for some settlement settlement in the uh, price action. Um, yeah, that's my plan. What's yours? Let me know in the comments down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, results, etc., etc. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys after news and before end of markets close. Uh, at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Till then, good luck. Cheers.